Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, so here we are with another Shop My Stash. I haven't filmed one of these in quite a long time, so I've really been using just a whole different combination of products from my last Shop My Stash, adding to it from my drawers, and just, you know, grabbing. Really, I haven't been doing a lot of shopping. I haven't. I've purchased a few things here and there, mostly palettes. Of course, you guys know my weakness. But as far as, like, complexion products and things like that, I really haven't been buying a lot, so I have been already pulling from my existing stash. So enough of that, let's just jump right in because I have quite a few products up here that I need to just run through. I'm not going to be talking a whole lot about each product because most of them, you guys may have already seen, they're not really new. Um, and I will talk about the palettes I've been using over the last few months and then move into um, shopping my stash. But these few items that I have right here are basically items that I use all the time and they're going to stay in my everyday makeup drawer. But I just wanted to go through them right quick just in case you're new and you're just curious about which products I really like and that I'm currently constantly using so my p louise base you guys know every single time i sit down to do my eyeshadow my makeup i'm using my p louise base i usually use the 04 but i ran out of that and they only had the 03 at the time that i placed my order so currently i'm using 03 it's a little bit lighter a little bit brighter but it works just fine for me because i kind of mute my base out anyway so that's staying and i have a little tray over here for what's going to stay where i'm putting my items so this is just a nyx professional makeup black eyeliner now i use several different colored eyeliners on my lower lash line a lot this one here from nyx is retractable oh my goodness i love a good retractable liner <laughs> that i don't have to sharpen very easy you know it's like you don't have to stress off of breaking the liner every time you sharpen it and they're pretty affordable so i really like the nyx pencils i use one for my brows as well you know when i do like to fill them in a little bit a brown one so yeah that stain for my mascara, I've really, really been going in with the Thrive because this is like my favorite. It lasts forever. It's like a tubing mascara. So it really does great with lengthening as well as adding volume. I've been using this for years. This is what it looks like. But if you're not familiar with a tubing mascara, it just kind of like encompasses around your lashes that you already have and it just extends them the more you put on the more it extends and when you take it off it comes off in like these little tubes you'll feel them they feel like little granules it's weird kind of you know takes a little bit to get used to but <laughs> i love this mascara it's really really great um i'll sit there and i'll be like oh i need to take my makeup off and i'll start pulling on my lashes like a dodo because it's not a good thing to do but if you pull on it, it'll just kind of come off of your lashes like in a little tube. It's really strange. So this Mega Wet n Wild Mega Slim Skinny Mascara, this is what that looks like. I really, really like this for my lower lashes. Sometimes I'll use it on my top lashes too, just to kind of blend them in with my um, falsies. Super duper thin, super small, very user friendly. Um, and I like the formula as well. It's not too wet or too thick. It's like perfect for my lower lashes and easy to use without getting mascara all over your, you know, cheeks and stuff. So keeping that. Now for lips. So let's finish up with the eyes. Now I purchased these on Amazon. It's this Italia, um, what is it called? But it's Italia Deluxe, I believe. And it's this matte liquid eyeliner. This stuff is really good. It's very, very affordable. I didn't really think it was going to work that well because, like I said, I got it off of Amazon. I bought like a pack of six or something like that. Very, very cheap. But I was um, not able to find my favorite matte liquid eyeliner, which is the NYX. I guess they had stopped selling it for a while and I just found out. I think that they're bringing it back now. But I started using this thinking I was going to run. It's not going to work very well. 
but it has a really, really easy to use, super thin brush applicator and it stays on. It's waterproof and it works really well. So yeah, I'm probably gonna go ahead and finish these up before I even purchase any more of the NYX because these actually worked out very well for me. You know, I love a good matte black eyeliner and I like liquid. It's just easier for me to work with. So for lips, <laughs> this has been my holy grail. I bought this um, not too long after I moved down here um, to Vegas. So I would say maybe about six months ago from Sephora. I was just perusing in Sephora, looking at stuff that I didn't need and saw that they have lip liners. And so I purchased this one fell in love with it because once again, it is retractable. Love me a good retractable liner. And this is in the shade Molasses. And you know, if you like a nice, rich, deep brown lip liner, this one, it works perfect every time. Very smooth, easy to put on, and it just goes with everything for me. So love these, we'll definitely be purchasing more from Sephora. For lips, I haven't really, you know what I find, I'm not really a lipstick person. I honestly can just declutter all my lipsticks and I wouldn't miss any of them, which is crazy. I've decluttered hundreds of lipsticks. I literally stopped buying them. I just bought two lip products from ColourPop and I wanted to slap myself because I'm like, why did you buy those? I don't wear lipstick like that. I wear lip glosses slightly tinted lip glosses, things like that, you know. So yeah, I think my lipstick purchasing days might be over because I really don't wear them. It's a waste of money and I get tired of looking at them. Some of them are pretty, but I don't wear them. But anyways, this Patrick Ta, this is a, actually a lip plumper. Um, my girl Lily bought this for me. It's got fingerprints all over it. Hold on. Let me try to be professional, you guys. <laughs> but my girl Lily bought this for me. And I love this stuff. It's so funny because lip plumpers do not work for me. Look at that packaging. So pretty. Honey, I could put a million lip plumpers on my lips. And my lips will still be as thin and as wrinkled as they always will be. And I'm happy with that. I'm just fine, honey. But I like the way it feels. I don't know. I like that little tingle, you know, that little burn, make you think you're doing something. So I love this stuff. It's a little pricey, but I think after I run out, I'm probably going to buy some more. And then lastly, what I definitely pull for every single day is one of my Maybelline Lifter Glosses. I bought these a while ago, tried out like all the different shades, and I still have quite a few of them. But yeah, it's a... Uh, they have a lot of shades of these, but it has the doe foot. And what I like about it is it gives me, this one is almost out, but it gives me like just a nice little hint of gloss with a little hint of color. I don't even know if you can see that because child, this angle is crazy. But yeah, it really does just give like a slight bit of gloss. It's not too, too shiny. It's not too thick. It's very comfortable and each, different color it's just like a hint of it my favorite is the amber because it looks really nice on my skin tone but yeah i love these lifter glosses they're just very comfortable you put them on with a lip liner and you're good to go so that is definitely staying in my everyday drawer i have this cute little <laughs> dispenser here for my wipes i love it I got it from Amazon. It's this cute little box if you guys are curious about having somewhere to put your um, wipes where you could just put them in there, take them out the package, and it's so much easier to grab them. Um, I can link it in the description box so you guys can find them. But yeah, I love that because I hate ripping open a pack of wipes and trying to make it stick again. This works perfectly. So, anywho, let's move on. I want to talk about the foundations and concealers that I have been using. Um, first, this L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear. Y'all, this stuff here. I love this stuff. Love it, love it, love it. It's like um a nice natural matte finish, especially if you don't use too much. I've learned over the years that I've been using in the past way too much foundation. And the reason being is because I do have a lot 
of discoloration, a lot of spots, a lot of just mismatched patchwork on my face. <laughs> You know, it's like you, you tend to want to just cover everything up to make it look nice and smooth, but I'm learning different, you know, still after all these years, learning different tips and tricks about my own face and my own skin tone, where to put, you know, the concealer, how much, you know, just a little bit of foundation just to kind of even everything else out. So I've been using just a couple of pumps of, of this on like a damp foundation brush and brushing it in you know all over my face and it's been working out amazing for a nice flawless but natural uh look so i love this foundation i have the shade 515 and it works perfectly for me so that i'm actually keeping in my drawer this makeup forever hd skin um got this when it first came out really really fell in love with it I really like the coverage of this. The coverage is crazy. And I like the shade that I have. It works well for me. 4Y66. But yeah, this Makeup Forever HD Skin. Um, it's kind of like a nice... It says here... Um, what does it say? I feel like it's a matte finish. If I am remembering correctly. I've been using the L'Oreal for a while. So I feel like it gives me more of a matte, yeah, definitely more of a matte finish than, um, you know, like dewy. You can use like different products to make it stay dewy and have like a dewy finish. But look at that beautiful natural finish. And I don't know if that's my just natural glow coming through from my skin, but I really, really like that foundation. Love it. It works great for me. I said I wasn't going to do any swatches and stuff because it just makes the video that much longer. Now, for concealer, I tried out this Kosas, and I used it like twice, I believe. I have the shade, what is this, 08? This is the Kosas Concealer. Um, It doesn't have the best coverage. For someone who doesn't have like crazy dark circles and stuff, this will probably be enough for you. Nice coverage, nice brightening. It's a decent concealer. Not my favorite. I probably wouldn't choose it again. Definitely won't purchase it again. Um, but I will use this up. Maybe more so during the summer when I'm going for like a lighter, more dewy look and not, you know, such heavy makeup. But yeah, this I probably would not purchase this again because the coverage is not strong enough for me. So that's going back. This NYX Bear With Me Conceal Serum, I like this a lot, even though it is a, um, how can I say, a concealer serum, it gives nice coverage. Now, the shade that I have, I definitely would say is to be used as a concealer. You know, I have concealers for covering and then I have concealers for brightening. I can't even see what is the shade on this you guys. Deep golden. <clears throat> so yeah, I have certain concealers. Let me move this out the way because the camera keeps trying to focus on it. But I have certain concealers that I use for concealing and then other ones that I use for brightening. And this is one that I definitely use for concealing, covering up dark spots and stuff like that. Works really well with my skin tone. This is my holy grail. <laughs> My Juvia's shade 11. Oh my gosh. It's just, you know, when you find that one product that's perfect for you, this is perfect for me. Everything, the coverage, the shade, the blendability, just everything. I love the doe foot. It's a nice, big, fat, juicy doe foot. <laughs> you know, so it's very easy to apply right where you want it. I just, uh, this is one product that I'm very happy that Juvia's came out with. And I hope they never change it because, honey... This I will buy forever. So anyways, those are my complexion products, some of which I'm keeping, some of which I'm putting back. Okay, so let's keep going. Let's go ahead and talk about highlighters since they're right here in front of me. Um, Y'all, I have like a million blushes and do not even know why I picked so many blushes. It's ridiculous. Anyway. <laughs> so for highlighters, I have this Tower 28. This is actually a bronzer. It's called Bronzino West Coast. 
Um, it's actually supposed to be a bronzer, but for me, it's a highlighter. Of course, as you can see, you know, it looks like a highlighter. Absolutely gorgeous. Nice cream formula. I love using this. Very, very pretty, but I think I will pull this again during the summer and spring when I tend to do more dewy face looks. I don't like putting um, creams over powders, and right now I'm doing more of like the matte, really set powdered face. So that's really um, nice to use during the summer and spring. I also have my Artist Couture. This is the Diamond Lux Luminizer in Honey Drip. Gorgeous, child. Uh-uh. Look at that. What? Beautiful. <laughs> and it is an absolutely beautiful. Um, I know I said I wasn't going to swatch, but y'all know me. Absolutely beautiful highlight gorgeous gold tone so yeah this is beautiful but i'm gonna put it back and play with something else for a while now these two sticks from elf they have been just sitting in my drawer lonely um and this one here it's a monochrome multi-stick and this one here i think it's more like a bronzing stick here it's called radiant bronze yeah but I pulled these because it's kind of tricky for me using products like these sometimes. They're absolutely gorgeous. But like this, I think this is supposed to be like a blush. This is Glowing Mango. But stuff like this, you know, on my skin tone, of course, I would have to use it more like a kind of highlight slash blush. So, you know, it would fall more in that category for me of that highlight slash blush and sometimes mm, i don't know sometimes i don't really want or i'm not in the mood for like a colored highlight you know um but then other times you know if i'm really really doing my face up like in the evening or something it can just be absolutely gorgeous so you know as you can see here they're very very pretty they look beautiful on the cheekbones, you know, the high points of your cheeks and stuff. Absolutely gorgeous, but mm, I think I'm going to put these back because these are more of like a summertime thing for me. And honey, we all the way in the fall and winter right now. It is actually cold when I wake up in the morning. I'm so glad about it. So <clears throat> let me run through these 5 million blushes that I have. <laughs> I'm a blush freak. Y'all know that. Okay, so I'm not swatching y'all. I'm not because this video is going to be long already. I ain't swatching no more. So I have this ColourPop, this cute little heart-shaped blush. This is Baby Cakes. It's one of their pressed powder blushes. And this is what she looks like. Let me see if I can get a little more light over here for you guys because ciao. But this is what she looks like. Isn't she pretty? Very pigmented. Very, very pigmented. You got to be careful with these babies, okay? At least deeper ones. You know, I love a beautifully pigmented blush, and this is definitely one that will give you that. Uh, another favorite of mine is the e.l.f. This is the Always Spicy. I've been using this <laughs> forever. I think since I've been on YouTube, this has been one of my favorites. This is just a gorgeous shade of blush. It is for all skin tones. Y'all have heard me rave about it before a million times. I hope they still sell it because this is just great for everybody. And I love it. It's a great blush. Next here, I have this LYS, you know, their signature uh, triangle packaging. This one is in the shade Inspire. This is one that I gravitate to a lot um, during the summer and the fall. It's kind of like that coral, peachy coral tone little bit deeper though a little bit deeper but not quite orange so also another shade that i feel is really really pretty on a lot of skin tones and it's cream so you know if you don't like cream but it's not like super duper wet you know some creams are like more emollient than others this one is not super duper wet it kind of even gives like that cream to powder type feel i usually use it like a denser brush or a damp beauty blender to just grab some out of here and tap it on my cheeks and it works really well like that so love that but she needs to go back honey 
this is like one of my OG favorites. I think I'm going to keep this one actually in my shop, my stash. My Revolution Pro Blush and Glow. Ooh, chow. This one. It's going to be hard not to swatch, but she's a beauty. You guys have seen her before. I've pulled her many, many times, but just, oh, it's just gorgeous. I can't help it. I'm sorry. The um, highlighters. The blush, you know, it's supposed to be a bronzer, but for me, it's two highlighters. It's just, oh, um, listen, honey. Listen, Linda. I just, I love this little trio. Look at that. Like, don't play with me. Don't play with me. It's just, it's, I'm keeping it. She's staying. Next, I have here something that I actually purchased for the packaging. <laughs> It was a very expensive purchase for the packaging, okay? But this is gorgeous, you guys. This Charlotte Tilbury uh, highlight and blush. What is it called? Beautifying Face Palette Pillow Talk. Mm, mm, mm. Honey, two highlighters, two blushes. But look, check out this packaging. Sorry about the lights, but y'all know how it go. You see how gorgeous that is? Oh. It's just beautiful. The detailing is beautiful. So let me open this up. And honestly, I really didn't have plans on using it because <laughs> it's so gorgeous and freaking expensive. But honey, I used it. Now, you have to use a denser brush with these. Um, you can't just go in with a nice soft brush and think you're going to pick up a whole bunch of product. These are very... Um, you know, densely packed, in my opinion, very densely packed, firmly packed. So it is an, a more subtle look on the cheeks, you know, um, the high points and things like that. It is absolutely beautiful, but I'll go ahead and just swatch a bit so you can see. Hopefully I don't dig into there with my nails like I tend to do. But you see, I'm really rubbing really hard so I can, you know, pick some up for you guys to see. And, um, you know, it really is, you see how much I had to pick up, but those are the tones and colors. Isn't she beautiful? Oh, she's gorgeous. And so, yeah, but very, very densely packed. So when you go in with your brush, you're only going to get a, a very small amount on your brush. And so... If you like something bold and super pigmented, you're going to have to go in quite a bit to get that look on your face. But if you like something nice and subtle sometimes, this is a really, really beautiful look on the cheeks when you just want that nice flush of color. Nothing too crazy. So I actually absolutely love it. So glad I bought it. But yeah, I wouldn't advise buying this unless you just love Charlotte Tilbury or you want the packaging or you're a collector but as a product, there's so many other blushes and highlights that you can buy for a lot less, you know, a lot less cost that will get the job done <laughs> just the same or better. But the, you know, the colors are absolutely gorgeous. So I would say that's really just something that's like a splurge or if you just really, really like Charlotte Tilbury and just feel like you have to have it. Now, this Sephora... Uh, this is one of their clean products. It's a clean velvet cream blush palette. Now this, the jury is still out for me on this. I'm not sure. Um, I purchased it because, of course, the colors are absolutely gorgeous. Right up my alley. Nice for fall um, and winter. But it's it's, I don't know if I don't really care for the texture of them that much or what it is they just don't give off I don't know I really don't know I'm thinking that it's really more so the texture because they kind of feel powdery even rubbing them right now and I feel like okay if this is like supposed to be a cream I don't want to feel it like balling up and stuff you know I don't know if you guys can see that when I'm swatching it I just I don't know. I just don't really care for how it feels. But the colors are gorgeous. But some of them, you see, it doesn't give that nice, beautiful, creamy 
blush that I would be looking for. And I don't know if it's because you know, it's a clean product and, you know, they can only put so many ingredients in there. So it's not working the way that I really want it to work. But yeah, I don't know. The jury's still out on this for me. It's not my favorite and it'll probably be hard for me to pull this from my drawer in the future because, yeah, it's just, it's not the best to me. Juvia's Blushed Rouge. This is volume five. Okay. Y'all know the pretty gorgeous packaging. Um, and these are the colors in here. Beautiful, beautiful shades. Beautiful. These give me more of like a summertime vibe. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put this back. And then we'll move into bronzers right quick. So for bronzers, I pulled my ABH uh, Mahogany. Okay, I've been using this. I love this bronzer. It just works really pretty. It's perfect for me. Perfect shade. Um, but yeah, Let's see if I can get that to focus. Gorgeous. Am I keeping this? No, we're going to switch it out. We have way too many bronzers that we need to play with. Um, then I also have from Juvia's Place, you know, same size and packaging as the blush, but this is one of the bronzer duos. This is dark. <clears throat> Fold this like this. Okay. So this is the dark. Love it. Okay, can my camera focus, please? I'm gonna have to re re situate y'all because, honey, my camera want to focus on everything but the product at hand. <laughs> so, yeah, this is um the dark in the bronzer from Juvia's. Love it. Oh Lord, almost dropped it. And then lastly, I have this Makeup Geek Trio. I actually pulled this and did not use it. <laughs> The blush and highlighter. Now, this bronzer, it's more of like a contour on me. So, I tend to stay away from it because I'm not really a big contour person. But the blush and, and highlight in here, yo, it's gorgeous. And it's beautiful for fall. So, I might keep this. I'm going to put this in my maybe pile. I might keep that in my everyday drawer for now. So, let's move on to face powders. Now, I have a lot of face powders, <laughs> and the reason being is because I actually was trying to go through like a whole declutter thing with my face powders because I have a lot of face powders that I never use, never pull. I'm very particular about my loose powders especially because they go under my eyes, and my face powders, my pressed powders as well, but more so my loose powders, so... I, you know, decided I wanted to kind of, kind of just go through my collection and start weeding things out. And I have weeded out quite a few. They're mostly like the um, translucent powders, the more white tone powders, because I just don't do them. When I do a powder under my eye, I like to have a little bit of tint to it. I do not like banana powders. They don't work well on me. They make me look crazy. So I've really kind of weeded a lot of those out already. So anyway, with that being said, this Bare Minerals Mineral Veil, hmm, this is just the original. I, child, I don't, I just don't, I don't, I, I don't know. I kind of want to try it out a few more times just because, um, you know, I just don't know. I don't know if it's a mental thing or if I just really don't like quote unquote translucent setting powders but I think I'm gonna keep this and try it a couple more times and if I really just don't like it it's, it's getting decluttered next I have here my Too Faced Peach Perfect this is a loose setting powder love this stuff Let me hold it this way so y'all can see it love this stuff it's a very very nice loose setting powder it's translucent caramelized peach so you know it does have some tint to it this stuff has a strong scent of peach too. So if you don't like perfumed makeup, then you probably won't like this. I really like this stuff. It looks really nice under my eyes. I like using it. It's very, very nice. So, uh, I might keep this too. I might. Fenty Beauty. It's funny because I thought I was going to end up decluttering this because when I first used it, I didn't like it. I thought it was too thick 
You know, I felt like this is too thick. I don't like it. I have the shade Honey. But the more that I used it and kind of, you know, got a little bit more familiar with um, how to best use it for me, I guess is the best way to put it. Um, I actually started liking it. So I think I'm going to keep this. I'm still going to keep it. I'm not going to toss it. Huda Beauty, one of my favorites. This one is Cinnamon Bun. This is the Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder. Love this stuff. I love using it under my eyes as well as just all over my face. Very small amount. You don't need a lot of this. I mean, unless you like that baked up, caked up look, <laughs> which I don't. But yeah, you don't need a lot of this. I just tap a little bit of this down and it works well. But because of the shade, if you can see that in there, it's a deeper shade. I can use this all over my face or I can use it to set just under my eyes either way. So I really, really like this stuff. I'm going to put it back though. And then for setting powders, this is actually a finish, finishing powder, this Elf Pressed Powder. Um, This is dark deep. And for you know, a drugstore powder, it actually works really nice. I don't really use finishing powders. I just use it as a setting powder. But yeah, it actually works really nice. Um, yeah, that's all I got to say about it. <laughs> For, you know, an affordable quote unquote drugstore brand. So lastly, I have my KVD. I know you guys are sick of this. Um, this is in Deep 200. Like I said, I use this like crazy, as you can see. <laughs> the proof is in the pudding. Um, about almost time for a new one. But yeah, this is my absolute favorite setting powder right now. I just, I love it. And it's always on sale on Sephora. So I really, really need to just stock up on it before they get rid of it. So anyways, my favorite. I'm keeping that in my everyday drawer. So let's go ahead and finish up with these primers and a little bit of skincare and setting sprays and whatnot. Okay, so for primers, I mainly have been using my Ulta Beauty Mattifying Face Primer. This is just one of my absolute favorites. I mean, it is what it is. It's really great at controlling my shine. It fills in my pores and it does mattify me. So this is my favorite. I'm probably going to keep this in my everyday drawer for now. I might pick one more to go with it, but this NYX Plump Right Back, uh, this is a plumping serum primer. Not really my favorite. It's not. I got this free from Ulta. You know, when you buy a certain amount of things, sometimes they send you freebies. It's nothing wrong with it. It's just not my vibe. Not my Stilo. So yeah, I'm going to put this away and revisit it another day, child. Um, lastly, for primers, I pulled my Tatcha Silk Canvas. This stuff is really nice, really amazing. One of my more pricey, um, primers. And I do use it quite a bit, as you can see, you know, I use it quite a bit. But, um, I don't know. I feel like I like this more, like, in the summer, spring and summer, because just the way that it, it makes my skin feel when I use it. I mean, I'm sure it's definitely great for the, um, you know, fall and winter as well. But for me, I like something a little bit more mattifying, something that's really going to like just snatch my skin underneath my makeup. And this doesn't do it. When I use this, it feels more like a really good barrier in between my skin and the makeup, just like to protect my skin more and nourish my skin more. So yeah, right now, I'm really into the whole, like, snatched matte filled pores type <laughs> vibe with primer. So, I'm going to put this back. Uh, let's see here. This P. Louise Skin, this is actually a makeup remover. This is their Make It Melt. Um, and I purchased this recently when I did, like, a little P. Louise haul or whatever. But yeah, this is the Make It Melt Makeup Remover. As you can see, it's just kind of like, let me see if I can get you, to, get you to see that in there. But yeah, it's just like, um, you know, your thicker, more slick type makeup remover. You know, I just scoop some out, rub it. This stuff is really good. 
it really, really takes off my eye looks, you know, regular makeup, easy piece of cake. But you know, I do like the deep, dark, extensive eye looks and stuff with a lot of blues and purples and stuff like that. This stuff works great. I just take a little bit out, rub it between my fingers, rub it on my eyes, and it comes. my makeup comes off no problem. So I really like this, the P. Louise Make It Melt Makeup Remover. It works really great. So that's going to stay. For moisturizers, um, I haven't been using a whole lot of different moisturizers because I do have my skincare stuff, you know, in my fridge that I pull in the mornings after I wash my face. But the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Face Cream, I will go in with this anytime I feel like my skin is dry, needs a little extra hydration. This is what I use. It's your, you know, white cream-based moisturizer. Mine is pretty much, you know, almost done. <laughs> but yeah, I really love this stuff. This is just a great, nice, everyday. It has hyaluronic acid and peptide complex. Great everyday moisturizer. I'm probably going to switch that out though. And then the two setting sprays that are my holy grails that I always use. My Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. And then my Urban Decay All Nighter. This one is the Ultra Matte. And I actually really like it a lot. They came out with some different varieties, you know. Not too long ago. Different flavors. <laughs> and I like this one. This one is, you see right here, it says Ultra Matte. So, like that. So, those are the products that I have been using. I'm going to keep using these, by the way. I need to switch out because I have a lot of setting sprays. But, honey, I don't feel like it. So, I'm going to keep these. <laughs> so, but, so, those are the products I've been using. Let's go ahead and just move into the palettes right quick. Okay, you guys, let's roll through these palettes right quick. These are all the palettes I've been using over the last few months. Most of them, I do have pictures of the eye looks that I did with them. There's a couple that I might not because, you know, unless I'm actually using it for um, YouTube or Instagram, I typically don't take pictures. I just, you know, put my makeup on and leave the house. So some of them I do, some of them I don't. But this first one here, which is the Queen Bee from Colored Rain. Look at that packaging. Get out of town. Gorgeous. So, yeah. And then this one, you can kind of see the wings moving. Cute. But yeah, so this is the Queen Bee. This is what she looks like. Look at that color story. So pretty, so gorgeous. Let me see if I can, um, yeah, absolutely beautiful. This shade right here, it's as amazing as you think it is. <laughs> it is, it's gorgeous. But anyways, so, so this is what the palette looks like. I'll go ahead and place a picture of the look that I did right here. So you can kind of see, I feel like the look that I did is just basically encompasses this whole palette because <laughs> I think I used just about every shade in here to create this look. I love this palette. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. This palette actually made me buy um, about five or six more of these small palettes from Colored Rain to play with. So I have them in my collection if I ever do a video talking about my latest palettes then you guys will probably see that. This dose of colors, I don't think I have a picture of the look I did with this. My palette is actually defective. This is the, what is it called? Dose of colors and I love Sarai eyeshadow palette. My palette has two blacks in it where it's actually supposed to have like a lighter brown over here. I don't mind because I have a million light browns um, and I love the glittery black in here. But yeah, this palette is really, really nice. I love the look that I came up with. It was just like an everyday look. Um, but very, very pretty. Funny enough, I didn't use this beautiful teal shade here. But trust me, I definitely will in the future. But very nice palette, even though mine is defective. <laughs> okay, so next, this Evil Mermaid. <sighs> this color story, just amazing. I don't know how I feel about the packaging. I like the design, the skulls or whatever that are in here. 
kind of funky, but it matches the theme, you know, I guess, Evil Mermaid. But this color story, y'all know I love me some Clarity Shimmers. The Clarity Shimmers just are to die for. But yeah, so this is what the palette looks like. And then this is the look that I did with this palette. Something kind of fun and funky. Very, very, you know, along the lines and themes of the whole color story of the palette. Very pretty. Loved it. Now let's run through <laughs> some of these Nomad palettes, honey, because Nomad has just been dropping the, the heat, okay? Nomad said, we are not going to be behind this year, honey. We are catching up. So this uh, Nomad Hudson Valley palette, as you can see, absolutely gorgeous, beautiful fall-themed palette. This is what this palette looks like. And this is a look that I did with this palette. Absolutely stunning color story. If no other palette says fall, honey, this palette says fall. Absolutely beautiful. Next, we have here the Province palette. It's actually called, what is it? Fets. I don't know how to pronounce that. Fets de Province. Um, very, very cute. Beautiful packaging. Another gorgeous color story from Nomad. This is what it looks like. Really, really pretty. And then this is... This is the eye look that I did with this palette. I like how it has these kind of deeper tones down here to play with, along with some nice bright colorful. So yeah, that was that. This one here, look at this packaging. This is like one of my favorites from No Bad as far as packaging and color story goes. This one is the Monte Verde. Okay, I have to say the word that I can say, okay? Monte Verde. <laughs> and this one is one of their, you know, larger palettes. Look at this color story. Get out of town. Get out of town. It's absolutely gorgeous. Oh my gosh. But yeah, this is one of their larger palettes with the color story. Oh, I about died when I saw it. It's so, so pretty. And then I have here, yeah, this is the Paradise Islands. Look at that. So pretty. Paradise Islands. Very, very spring. Very bright. Just beautiful. Really, really pretty. Nomad has really, really um, kind of moved into brighter, more, you know, just pigmented, vibrant color stories over this past year. And I'm so proud of them for doing so. <laughs> You know, adding the deeper shades that we wanted, adding the more bright pops of color that we wanted. So, yeah, this palette is really, really pretty. So, I have some gorgeous Nomad palettes. They just came out with a new um, Christmas palette. I haven't used it yet. They sent it to me. I definitely am going to use that. So, I'll probably pull that for this Shop My Stash. But, yeah. So I have a couple of Natasha Denona's that I have used. This one is my dream palette. Aww, very cute packaging. And it has, you know, it has the neutral color scheme, but nice and deep and rich. You know, for the girls that like to go deep and smoky, she put her black in here added some beautiful warm tones, some burgundies. I love it. It just is gorgeous. So anywho, this is the look that I did with this palette. I loved it. I love the lid. Um, definitely this shade here, absolutely gorgeous. Um, you can kind of see, you see that shift, that pink to green, pink, green, pink, green <laughs> anyways has that beautiful shift in there and so i absolutely love this palette if i was going to have a neutral palette this would be it child because it's gorgeous and then the natasha did on a retro glam that she just dropped not too long ago i just did a video on this Let's see if you can see that it's really pretty but yeah um it's you know a very specific color scheme, in my opinion. I love it. 
I really do like the minty greens and the pink tones. I love it. It's different. It's unique. I like, I love having a palette with this color story, but if this isn't your vibe, then yeah, you're not going to like it <laughs> because it's definitely, um, you know, a very specific color scheme in here. So I like it a lot. Really pretty. This is the look that I did with it. You know, if you want to check out how I did it, definitely, um, you know, watch my video on that. I had a lot of fun creating it. So really, really pretty. There's some swatches in that video as well, in case you're curious about swatches. The Michaela Paul 2 Glam Light Color Palette has this nice kind of like velvet, velvet velour type feel. Really, really nice. But this is what this palette looks like. She's very pretty. So this is the look that I did with it using, you know, this green down here, this beautiful bright green right here, just absolutely gorgeous. It came out really, really nice, perfectly how I want it to. Sometimes you can't find the exact shade of green that you're looking for, honey. It was perfect <laughs> for the outfit that I had on and what I was going for. So love this palette. You guys know I love um, Glam Light Shimmers. Love them. The mattes too. It's like I always talk about the shimmers because they're so beautiful, but the mattes are amazing as well. <laughs> Blend Bunny Cosmetics Primal Palette. Beautiful, bright color story. And this one, you know, they put the black and the white in there um, to give you more options with creating looks, which I really, really love. So yeah, this is the look that I created with this palette. I love that look. It's really, really pretty. <laughs> really gorgeous. So yeah, that's that. I love their formula as well. Um, I combined a couple of palettes. I combined my Danessa Myricks. This is her Lightwork Volume 4 Transcendence Palette, y'all. I, I, have, I have no words for this palette. The packaging is gorgeous, but baby, it's like Danessa Myricks. She's in a lane all by herself. She really is. Yes, I have a lot of, you know, beautiful shimmers, dual chromes and multi-chromes and things like that. But it's like what she's doing, what she's coming out with, it's just crazy crazy it's crazy now this palette does have like the water activated uh liners um what does she call them aqua chromes so there's a couple of aqua chromes in here you have your you know flaky what does she call them pressed chrome flakes right here and then you have your velvet chromes your glass metallics all throughout so just so many different textures and mediums to play with but yo listen okay you know what y'all y'all about to get a little treat because honey we're gonna swatch a little bit oh let me turn my hand upside down Dude, child can you listen i know do you yo like what and they feel like butter get okay breathtaking absolutely breathtaking like uh, a moment of silence just a moment of silence for these shadows i'm sorry i'm sorry anyway <laughs> Danessa Myricks is doing it. So I combined shimmers from this palette. I'm put this away, honey. I'm gonna handle with care. So I combined shimmers with that palette with the mattes from a Beauty Bay um, 42 color palette. This is the 2.0 brights, okay? And this palette just by itself is gorgeous. Look at this. Child, look at this. But honey, 
I combined this palette <laughs> with this palette. And mm, let me just, I just insert the pictures here, okay? Because I can't fit everything on the screen. But this is the look that I did <clears throat> using these two palettes, okay? Just mind-blowing. It's like these are the kind of swatches that you just, you hate to even wipe off. You don't even want to wipe them off. They're so beautiful. It's Lord have mercy. <sighs> That's how I know I'm I'm still in a love affair with makeup, honey. It just, it just, it never ends. It never ends, honey. No matter how many palettes I get, it never ends. Okay, another big mama gemma. This earthly palette here from Beauty Bay. Love this color story. Look at this. Ah! If you like greens, if you like neutrals, if you like greens with your neutrals, <laughs> get out of town. Beauty Bay know they, they went ham with their color stories this year. They have the blue and purple, the brown and the green, the purples, the berries, the rosies. Oh my goodness, honey. Any color story that you're in love with, you could find on Beauty Bay. Beauty Bay. So anyways, this is the palette. Let me try. I will try to slide the picture in that I did with this palette so you can see it. Absolutely gorgeous. Love, love, love it. Just a few more before we move on to shopping our stash. I have here my Gemini 2. Fell in love with this. The packaging, the color story. I love Melt Cosmetics in general. I know some of their shadows can be a little bit tricky to work with. Fickle. Frustrating even for some people. <laughs> <laughs> but when I saw this color story, I about died. I was like, what? Oh, I got to get that. So yeah. Anyway, this is the palette. This is the look that I did with this palette. So yeah, still loving it. Just looking at it right now. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Just this half, this half, just combining. It's gorgeous. I know y'all be like, girl. I love me some makeup. This spooked palette from um, Gourmand Girls. This is a collab that they did with Doodles by the Bunny. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Doodles by the Bunny. She creates like some amazing color stories and designs palettes and they're beautiful. So anyways, they actually sent me this. I was surprised because I'm like, what? They just sent it to me. And I was like, okay. And it's funny because when I looked at it, when I saw it online, I was like, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I want it. I want it. I want it. I want it. This color story, just the layout. I feel like with color stories, especially when you're kind of like all over the board like this one is, the layout and the background and all that stuff is very important. And I feel like they did an excellent job with this palette of, for me, not making me look at it and say, uh, what am I going to do with that? You know what I'm saying? Even though there's purples, there's reds, there's orange, there's brown, black, white. This is a crazy color story. Perfect for Halloween. But for just a regular, you know, makeup user or somebody, they probably look at that like, what am I going to do with that? But for me, one thing about me, <laughs> y'all know I just, oh my gosh, fell in love. It's just like, oh my gosh. So anyways, this is the look that I did with this palette. I really, really liked it. I really did. I was like, oh my gosh, I love it. So Really, really love the color story, the layout, the formula. Beautiful. So I think they did a great job on this little Halloween-themed palette. They really did. They did a great job with that. And lastly, I used these two palettes together. It was so long ago. I don't even know if I'll be able to find the picture that I took when I did this. This is the Clarity Cosmetics Magic Lamp Palette. I just kind of bought this on a whim, actually. I think I was on their site purchasing something else, and I saw this, and I was like, ooh, I kind of like that. Now, with this color story, it's very, very pretty. Of course, like you know, I love the shimmers. I kind of feel like these shadows in this palette are pressed a bit harder than shadows from some of their other palettes, like this red right here. I don't know if you can see, but I had to kind of go in and like scratch 
the surface, the top surface, but it still looks like shiny. And it's weird because it's like, it's just not the easiest, softest, you know, shade for me to pick up and use it. You know, I don't know if you can, chow, listen, it's just, you know, it shows up, but it's just not the best in my opinion. So, um, and I feel like most of the mattes in this palette are kind of like that, you know, like this purple. Um, but I don't know. It's just not my favorite from Clarity. Now with the shimmers, the shimmers, <laughs> the shimmers still give the beautiful Clarity. You know, they're a little bit, you know, more chunky in here, but they still give the beautiful clarity vibe but I feel like maybe with this palette they might have tried like a different see that a different formulation and it's not my favorite even though they're really pretty they're not as easy and smooth as some of their other beautiful shimmers are so although I really really love the color story in here the I feel like the formulation is just something that's just off. But I combine that palette with this one from Revolution. This is a Glam Mood Night Out. I bought this palette um, as one that I can really just take with me to travel. I have another neutral palette by them that combines really nicely with this. So it's like I'm able to just grab those two palettes and have a nice combination of shades when I travel, if I don't really, if I know I'm not really going to go into a lot of color, you know, or if I want to just take one of my really pretty shimmer palettes or something like that, it works well. So anyways, I combined these two palettes, this one and this one to create this look here. And I had a lot of fun doing it. Um, This palette is really, really nice, actually, from Revolution. Very nice. If you like these type, these type of shades... It's the Glam Mood Night Out. Check it out. I really, really like it. So anyway, that's that. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to just selecting some new products right quick. Okay, you guys. So let's go ahead and run through picking some items that I need um, to replace in my everyday drawer. And I think I'm going to keep this quick and simple because this video is already super long. Um... I have not used my Beauty Bakery Butter Primer in quite a while, so I think I'm going to go ahead and grab this and use this along with the Ulta Mattifying Primer that I already have in my stash, but I do want to grab this and use it. Okay, I also need to pick another moisturizer. Um, yeah, because I'm putting the e.l.f. back, so... Hmm, I don't have them all laying down like I used to <laughs> so that you can see them all. Oh, I haven't used this milk in a while. The vegan milk moisturizer. This is really, really good. Um, So I might end up picking that. Saturday Skin, they're really good as well. This is the Bomba, yeah. <laughs> the Baba Bomb from Tarte. This is really nice too. It's a cute little applicator. Um, I love the water gels. This title from Sunday Riley. Come on, KK, just pick one. Let's see, it's fall, winter time. Do I want something thicker? Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and go with the milk uh, vegan milk moisturizer because this one is a little bit thicker. So, yeah, I'm going to grab this for this time of year. I think this will work out better for me. Okay, so I need to pick out a couple of concealers. You know, I always keep my Juvia's. <laughs> but I did purchase um a couple of concealers, and I think I got one in a BoxyCharm. Can y'all believe I finally canceled my BoxyCharm? The box for this month, uh, November, trash. So, yeah. <laughs> finally canceled so anyways i won't be getting boxy charm anymore but yeah i think i'm gonna go ahead and pull this sephora 
Um, it's not focusing that well, but this one is, what is it? Bright Future Concealer. Um, yeah, y'all listen. If y'all could read that, honey, look, more power to you. I can't, but anyways, yeah, this is the Sephora Bright Future Concealer. I think I'm going to go ahead and pull this because I don't remember using it yet and I want to check it out. I also want to pull um, this Black Opal Total Coverage. I haven't used this in a long time. And honestly, it might be time for me to think about getting rid of it. I don't know. I got to go through my expiration dates. But I have actually decluttered a lot of stuff. Just I just didn't film it. But this is a face and body concealer. I think this has like really, really serious coverage. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this. Um, and do I want to pull one more? No, I think I'm going to do the one size another time. But yeah, if I was going to pull another one right now, it would be this one. Um, the one size, turn up the base. Because I did purchase this. I think, did I buy this? Yeah, I did buy this. I didn't get this from Boxy. I believe I bought this from Sephora because I wanted to try it out. And so, yeah, I think I'm going to try this on my next go round. Mm. Now, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and pull it because I want to know how it works. So I'm going to pull that too. Okay, you guys, I'm going to try not to go ham on highlighter. I'm going to try to keep it kosher. And since I'm only working with one hand, <laughs> Hmm. Highlighter, choosing highlighter is always daunting for me because I have too many. This is pretty. This Huda Beauty. Ugh, can I open this with one hand? Hold on. This is that absolutely gorgeous, like rose gold. Ooh, she pretty. Do I want to wear that in the fall though? Mm, that's a maybe. <laughs> I really, right now, I don't know how I feel. And it makes it kind of difficult, you know, when I don't know how I feel to pick a highlighter. I'm scared of these Michaela highlighters. You know, they have that green tint to it. Mm -mm. Uh, this one, maybe I'll go with like some of my wild and crazy ones. This is the ABH and this one is the Iced Out. Y'all remember this? This is the highlighter, you know, that looks white in a package, but when you put it on, do you see what it looks like? It has like that golden hue to it. I don't know. It's like, am I in the mood for that? <laughs> That's why I end up picking so many dang old highlighters because it'd be like, am I in the mood for that? Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull these two just so I can play around with them, have a little fun, you know, but then I will also pull one... Or maybe I'll do like a palette or something. But I'll also pull one, you know, that's a little more normal. Uh, and not such a crazy um, shade of highlight. Let me see if I can open this. This one, you know, the Milani, of course. Absolutely gorgeous. Perfect for every day. So, yeah. I'll go ahead and pull that one too. So, I'll just grab these three for now. Okay, guys, so I want to pick one bronzer. Ooh, one. Do I need two? I think I need two, y'all. Yeah, I think I need two. Um, I definitely have not used my Hula. I haven't used my Hula Toasted in a while from Benefit. So, yeah, let me go ahead and pull that. Um... And one more, one more. I haven't used my Morphe in a while either. It used to be my holy grail. I have like these cream bronzers and stuff, you know, Danessa Myrick's Elf. And uh, I really, really want to use, that's what I should do. This Danessa Myrick's, when I tell you, this mug scares me. It scares me. Let me see if I can open this up. This stuff is so freaking pigmented hold on this stuff is so freaking pigmented it's like you barely touch it 
barely touch it and look at that. You see that? It's like, Lord have mercy. So I'll be scared to use it because I always feel like I'll be used too much. But this stuff, oh my gosh, is so amazing. It's just, I got to be careful with it. But you know what? I'm going to go ahead and play with it. I'm going to pull it, play with it. I spent my money on this, so I need to use it and get familiar with it. And if I don't like it, I need to really pass it on to somebody else because... That stuff was not cheap. Okay, and but I'm going to pick one more powder bronzer because I don't want to be stressing myself out. You know what I'm saying? Um, I have these duos from the lip bar that I used to use all the time, and I haven't pulled them in so long. It's the ones where you get the bronzer, you know, and then you also get the blushy blush. Now, that's pretty for, like, spring summer that blush is gorgeous this one double date and then i also have this one this one is darker i got both of them because you know the bronzer was darker in this one which is staycation and so i wasn't sure which one would work best for me see this still has a plastic in it um but I think that would work okay still. And then the blush in here, I think it's darker as well. Oh, please don't drop this girl. I'm trying to do this with one hand. Hold on, y'all. Okay, so that's the blush in this one, which I really feel like is more of a fall, winter shade for me. So, yeah, let's pull this one. That's really pretty. So I get like a bronzer and a blush in one. Staycation. Okay, you guys, I already have two blushes. I'm, I'm not picking a foundation today, so we're just going to skip right on by my little foundation tower because I'm going to keep using my L'Oreal and the Makeup Forever. So we'll see you next time. <laughs> but okay, so listen, I already have two blushes. We already know that. I have the blush trio from Revolution. I have a blush that I just got you know, in my compact with my bronzer. So I'm only going to allow myself one more blush, you guys. So I have a purpley one and I have a really gorgeous rosy one. Um, ooh, this kind of reminds me of like the uh, elf one. Very, very similar to that. I really love those color or those type of blushes. Um, as you can see here, oh, that's pretty too. I think these are from, um, what's that dollar store that uh, where we get the sponges and stuff from? Yeah, I think that's where those are from, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and this Morphe blush here. That's one brand I really don't be choosing blushes from a lot. Morphe. So this is what this one looks like. Hmm. Hold on, let me swatch that. Okay, that's actually really pretty. It has kind of like a terracotta feel to it. Hmm, okay. I think I might be pulling this because that's really pretty. What is this? Copper Unity? Is that what that says? Oh, Coppertunity, like opportunity. <laughs> okay, okay, you slow. Coppertunity, okay. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and pull that, try this out see if it just fades in the night from morphe okay so for face powders um i'm really kind of leaning towards my makeup forever setting powder because i haven't used it a lot and when i did use it from what i recall i really really enjoyed it so matte velvet skin y505 yeah, it's a blurring powder foundation. Mm, okay, let me open this up for you guys. Okay, so this is what she looks like. I only have one pan in this compact. I didn't put anything in the other side. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull this because I haven't used this in a while and I really want to kind of, you know, use it up because it's actually really nice. So I'm gonna pull that to go along with my Kat Von D. If I get tired of using that, I'll use this. And so, honestly, I just need another loose powder. Yeah, I just need another loose powder for 
under my eyes, I'm thinking. I don't know how this is going to go. I kind of want to use my Maybelline Fit Me. Mm, I have this milk, but this is more like a skin tone. I really want to pull something for under my eyes. I always use the prime, so I don't want to pull that. Uh, what is this? Cover Girl? Huh. Have I tried the Cover Girl? Hmm. Cover Girl. Clean Professional. I don't know about this clean makeup, y'all. What is this? 115 Translucent Medium. Okay, I'm going to pull this because, honey, I have no thoughts about this at all. So, I'm going to pull this and we'll see what happens, y'all. So, I'm going to pull that for under my eyes. This is for setting my face and that's it. That's it. Okay, you guys. So, let's just quickly run through the palettes that I've selected to use over the next couple of weeks. My goal is to do my shot my stashes every two weeks. That's my goal. So, I'm trying to choose less products for me to choose. Trying to put myself on a schedule, you guys. Please help me. Also, um, I notice a lot of people um, are saying that they're not seeing my videos pop up. I know because I've been gone for a while. Been kind of inconsistent. But I'm trying to get back consistent. So, just make sure that you have... Um, me selected as being subscribed to as well as you know checking the bell so that you guys get notified of all of my videos if you like my content and hopefully YouTube will throw me back into the algorithm so you guys start seeing my videos when they pop up again but yeah just wanted to throw that out there so I'm trying to choose less products so that I can do my shop my stashes every two weeks so this first one here is the ColourPop Troublemaker I like this uh, packaging, it's kind of cute. Kind of different, I like it. Like the whole theme. It's kind of a color story that I would not typically gravitate to, but it's funny, I really, really like these tones and palettes. You know, the color story is really pretty. It's got the deep dark grays and purples and kind of cool, you know, neutrals. So I wanna play with this, so I chose this. I also chose the ABH Nouveau palette, one of their newer palettes. I do have the other one that I think is like a rose theme, but I want to play with this one. So really, really pretty. Has the green themed shadows in here. I'm trying to get you guys a, you know, good angle of it. But yeah, really pretty. I like how they threw that pop of purple in there just to kind of throw everybody off, but it's really pretty, so I chose that. I do need to do kind of like a video just showing some of my newest palette purchases because, you know, of course I do select some of them for my Shop My Stash, but I also want to do a video just kind of showing my latest palette purchases and maybe swatching some of them. I don't really do haul videos anymore because I don't really haul like I used to. So this is one of the new Glam Light Scooby-Doo palettes. Got this recently. This one, what is it? Raw, raw, raggy. Raw, raw, raggy. Uh oh, shaggy. <laughs> so this is the color story for this one. I do have the other one as well, which is really, really deep and dark and grungy. It's gorgeous, but I decided to go with this one because I kind of want to play over here, I think. Yeah, I'm feeling like I want to play over here or maybe these six. So, yeah, I have a lot of palettes with like the same type of color story. So it's kind of hard for me sometimes when I'm picking for Shop My Stash because I love the jewel tone color stories, the blues, the purples, the greens every time. And I don't want every single one of my looks to be blue, purple, or green. <laughs> so it's kind of hard sometimes picking my palettes. But this is the Cosmic Wanderer from Terra Moon, okay? If you know anything about Terra Moon shadows, okay, Terra Moon literally has some of the best eyeshadows. I would say, you know, shimmers. I'm very familiar with their shimmers. Oh my goodness. They would just make you fall and pass out. But 
<clears throat> yeah, their shadows are amazing. So this is this palette. Just got it last week. Oh, I can't wait to dive into here. I really, really like this color here. Very pretty and unique. Of course, I love a good navy blue. The shimmers, I'm not even worried about those because I know those are going to be amazing. But like just the different tones of blues that they put in here, these blue green shade, this blue right here. So yeah, I just in this shimmer. Oh, I don't even know. Can the light catch that? Can it catch it? But yeah, so I'm dying to play with this. Absolutely gorgeous. The packaging is beautiful as well. I love this whole palette. It has a nice, thick, solid feel to it, but it's not super heavy, you know? I have the Nomad palette. This is their new holiday palette. It's called Santa's Village. <clears throat> they sent this to me. And this is what she looks like. Very, very Christmassy. Totally gives you that holiday spirit. The green, the red. I love that there's like this super, super dark shade. I haven't figured out, is that black? It looks like black. Sometimes it looks green to me, but I'm pretty sure that's a black. I don't know, that might be a green because it's called fir tree. I think that is green. Anyway, I love the fact that there's a deep dark shade in there for me to play with. This shade up here is pretty. That one is gorgeous. The whole palette is beautiful, so... It's kind of a different type of color story, so we'll see what I come up with, you guys. I'm not sure. And then I also have another Christmas palette. This one is from Udenza. This one is called the Merry Christmas Palette. I did get the Christmas Eve palette as well, the blue-themed one. So I do have that one, but I didn't choose it for this Shop My Stash because I have enough blue shadows to play with. So I did go ahead and choose this one instead. I'm loving the beautiful, warm, earthy colors. This one also has like a gorgeous green theme going on up here. That's another color story that I have a lot of palettes with. But I'm very, very happy that they put like different tones in here. You know, you got your dark, but then you have your super duper light. This beautiful like lime green type shimmer up here. It's just really, really pretty. I'm not really that big on red eyeshadow. If you notice, I don't do a lot of red eye looks. I just don't feel like red looks good on me. So I don't know how I'm going to play this down here, but I'll figure something out. This orange is pretty. This pink is pretty. Yeah, I could probably come up with a nice pretty look using this dark red brick shade um, in my crease, deepening it up, and then adding these beautiful shimmers on the lid. So it's a lot of different ways I can go with this palette. So that's why I chose this one instead of the blue one. Um, I did want to have like something where I could just do some everyday looks. So these last two palettes are really for that, you know, for me to be able to just grab something that's in my everyday stash and do everyday looks with. This is the Huda Beauty Empowered. That's what that looks like. I've been kind of shying away from this palette. I don't know why. I don't know why. I bought it because I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. Love the beautiful gold shimmers that are in there. It has that beautiful burgundy, some kind of taupey shades, you know, very cool tone over here and then warm over here. So yeah, it's a nice variety. And I think that I will be able to do some things with this for my everyday looks, toned down looks. So that's why I chose this. So I'll give you guys my thoughts on that as well. And then lastly, I have one of my colored rain palettes that I just purchased not too long ago. This one is called the Rebellious Nudes. <laughs> Very simple, basic palette, but it gets the point across. And it is definitely your basic nudes. Now, of course, you know what caught my eye. Y'all see that green tone shimmer in the corner there? Y'all know. Y'all know that caught my eye. So honestly, all three of these shimmers, I'm really, really excited to play with with these warm neutrals because it's like that shimmer on the lid, you know, you can have just a very basic crease, but when you pop a gorgeous, beautiful shimmer on that lid, it takes the eye look to a whole new level. So 
yeah, I wanted to go ahead and pull this as well for this week. So that's it, you guys, for my Shop My Stash. I have all of my palettes. I have all of my base products. And all I have to do is put all these items away and I'm good to go. So just wanted to say thank you guys so much for all of you who still watch my channel, still watch my content, come by you know, to check me out, say hey, and still show love and support. I really appreciate you guys. So yeah, until next time, which will be some type of makeup video, um, I will see you then, okay? Thanks for watching. Toodles! Mm -hmm.